Have you ever wondered how timeless beauty icons would fit in today's world? Well, buckle up because we're about to dive deep into the captivating life and style of Sharon Tate, the quintessential 60s siren whose grace and elegance left an indelible mark on Hollywood. In this journey, we will explore her cherished beauty products from the swinging 60s and dive into the mystery surrounding her untimely demise. But that's not all. We'll stretch our imaginations and envision what Sharon's beauty routine would be like if she were strutting down red carpets in our era. And now, a message from our sponsor. And thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. Dossier reproduces classic, high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting all the expenses and infamous brand tax. They have a risk-free system allowing customers to try the perfumes before committing to them. And if you decide to return the scent, they offer a 30-day standard return period in which customers can return any unsealed 50 ml dossier perfume and get a full refund, no questions asked. And I love how affordable the perfume is. Any scent starts at $39, while designer ranges are up to $280 retail. You get free returns and exchanges. And if you buy in bulk, so three plus perfume bottles, you get a 25% discount plus free shipping. And they're always adding new scents to their collection. And they have a welcome offer of 20% off on their website. And you can get up to 30% off for your first order by using the discount code. And I'm coming back to you with an additional 5% discount code. This will be linked below in my description box and pinned comment. And now let's discuss some of the perfumes that I got this time from Dossier. So the first one I got is a floral perfume. And this one has Neroli and Bergamot, Ylang Ylang, May Rose, and Sandalwood. And this one is a replica of Chanel Number no. 5. It actually smells good. I actually like this one better. And the next one I got is a floral ylang ylang. So as you can tell, I love floral fragrances. And this one is another Chanel replica. It's the Gabrielle one, and it has grapefruit, black musk, and orris. And I just love Chanel perfume, so I like the idea of being able to get these affordable options because the Chanel ones are very expensive. And then lastly is a floral rose perfume, and I love roses. It's one of my favorite scents. And this one has roses, um, vetiver, cedarwood, musk, and amber. So I love all these scents. They're very light and refreshing. So make sure you use my discount code linked below in my description box and pinned comment. Now let's jump back into the main video. Sharon Tate's story is a captivating tale of beauty, talent, and tragedy that still resonates in the hearts of many. Born on January 24th, 1943 in Dallas, Texas, Sharon Marie Tate was destined to leave an indelible mark on the world. As the firstborn of Colonel Paul James Tate and his wife Doris Gwendolyn, Sharon's early life was a mosaic of different cities due to her father's military career. This exposure to diverse cultures and places perhaps contributed to her adaptable and vibrant nature. From a young age, Sharon's striking beauty was evident. She won her first beauty pageant when she was just six months old, and as she grew, so did her interest in the arts. Her ethereal looks, coupled with her inherent talent, made her a natural fit for the limelight. During her teen years, her family settled in Verona, Italy, where she was crowned Queen of Beauty at the local base teen club a testament to her alluring charm. Sharon's journey to Hollywood stardom began in earnest when her family moved back to the United States. In 1961, she made her television debut in the Beverly Hillbillies, marking the start of her burgeoning acting career. Her beauty and talent didn't go unnoticed, and soon she was gracing the silver screen in minor roles, paving her way to stardom. It was her role in the 1967 film Valley of the Dolls that catapulted Sharon Tate into the limelight. Her portrayal of Jennifer North, a doomed Hollywood actress, earned her critical acclaim and solidified her status as a rising star. Her performance was haunting and poignant, reflecting a depth and talent that promised a luminous future in acting. 
Off screen, Sharon's life was equally eventful. In 1968, she married the acclaimed director Roman Polanski, a union that was celebrated in the art and film circles. The couple's life was a whirlwind of glamour, mingling with the who's who of Hollywood and European aristocrats. Sharon, with her striking beauty and elegant poise, became a fashion icon, embodying the quintessential 60s style with her trend setting hairstyles, bold makeup, and chic wardrobe. However, Sharon's life and career were tragically cut short. In August 1969, at the age of 26, she became a victim of one of the most horrific crimes in American history. Pregnant with her first child, Sharon Tate was brutally killed by members of the Manson family, a crime that shook the nation and left a permanent scar on Hollywood. Sharon Tate's legacy, however, transcends her tragic end. She remains a symbol of beauty, grace, and unfulfilled potential. Her cultural impact is profound, influencing fashion, beauty, and the arts long after her passing. Sharon's life story is a reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the enduring allure of the star whose light was extinguished too soon. The 1960s, an era of radical change and vibrant expression, gave rise to some of the most iconic beauty trends, many of which were embodied and influenced by none other than Sharon Tate. Her look was a harmonious blend of Hollywood glamour and the emerging mod style that defined the decade. Sharon Tate, renowned for her luminous skin, utilized the Polly Bergen Compact with powder pancake makeup for its high coverage and matte finish, characteristic of the bold 1960s look. Alongside this, she incorporated Ultima's transparent face tint for a lighter, more natural finish. This combination would have allowed her to achieve a flawless base, ideal for adding more vibrant colors to her makeup routine while maintaining a balance of drama and a subtle overall look. Lips in the 1960s were all about making a statement, and the London look frosted slicker lipstick was the epitome of this trend. A frosted and shimmery hue, this lipstick was not just a cosmetic product, but a fashion statement, one that Sharon would have worn effortlessly. Her natural beauty and confidence would have made the striking color all the more captivating, complementing her blonde hair beautifully. Mascara was another essential item in her 1960s beauty kit, and Maybelline's automatic mascara was a game changer. Its innovative design allowed for easy application, helping women achieve the dramatic, wide-eyed look that was all the rage. And I still love Maybelline mascara and use it every day. Sharon's eyes, one of her most striking features, would have been enhanced beautifully by this product. The dark, voluminous lashes would have added depth and, and intensity to her gaze, making her eyes and focal point her beauty look. And as you look at photos of Sharon Tate, you can really see her long lashes and enhanced eyes. Sharon Tate's makeup in the 1960s, particularly her use of eyeliner, was a defining aspect of her look. She utilized Maybelline eyeliner on her crease for added depth and a Revlon black eyeliner to create the iconic winged effect at the corners of her eyes. This style, emphasizing her almond-shaped eyes, added drama and intensity, fully embracing the era's trend for eyeliner as an artistic statement. The combination of these products would have accentuated her captivating eyes, a signature feature of her timeless beauty. The mod style of the 1960s also brought pastel eyeshadows to the forefront. Soft, powdery hues of blue, pink, and green were popular, reflecting the era's playful and experimental spirit. Sharon's love for fashion and her ability to adapt to different styles would have made her a perfect canvas for those colors. A soft pastel eyeshadow palette would have been of a favorite for her in her makeup collection, allowing her to create looks that were both trendy and sophisticated. And blush in the 60s was all about the subtle, natural finish. Cream blushes and soft pinks and peaches were popular, providing a dewy, useful glow. Sharon's radiant skin would have been enhanced by these shades, giving her a fresh, vibrant look that was both innocent and alluring. Sharon Tate's beauty routine included a variety of products that contributed to her look. She used Erno Lazlo's White Marble Treatment Bar for skincare, 
Olay Beauty Fluid for Lotion, and Maybelline's Expert Wear Eyebrow Pencil for her eyebrows, and she also uses in the crease of her eyes. And you can still buy these today. Her makeup featured Revlon Photo Ready Eyeliner and Brightener, so she used the white and the black to align her eyes, and then the brown eyebrow pencil for the crease and eyebrows. And she also loved Helena Rubenstein's Long Lash Waterproof Mascara for her lashes. So she used that as well as Maybelline. For her lips, she often chose an Alme Frosted Shell Pink Lipstick in a gold tone case. And she also loved the London Look Frosted Lip Slicker. And I really like her like frosted kind of nude pink lips shown in all of the photos. And she also used the Ultima Transparent Face Tint for that lightweight, dewy glow, which I mentioned before. So all of these items were available for sale at Julian's auction online. So you can really see her makeup and see which products she actually used. Sharon Tate's choice of perfumes reflected in her refined and elegant style. She reportedly wore Guerlain's Jicky, a classic fragrance known for its unique blend of lavender, rosemary, bergamot, and vanilla. I really like this one. It kind of has a unisex vibe to it and it's very mysterious, it's timeless. I have the lighter version, it's really nice. Additionally, she wore Chanel Number no. 5, another iconic fragrance. And this one aligns with her sophisticated and classic taste. And Chanel Number no. 5 is known for its rich and elegant floral scent. And this would have been a fitting choice for her refined sensibilities. The late 1960s in Hollywood were a time of cultural revolution, but the brutal events of August 1969 cast a long and dark shadow over this era of change and promise. Sharon Tate, a symbol of beauty and emerging talent, along with four others, fell victim to one of the most shocking and heinous crimes of the 20th century. This tragedy not only ended the lives of promising individuals, but also marked a terrifying intersection of fame, violence, and madness, leaving a mark on Hollywood and the world. And many people say that this ended the 1960s. On the night of August 8, 1969, Sharon Tate, eight and a half months pregnant, along with her friends Wojciech Frykowski, Abigail Folger, and Jay Sebring, were at her LA home. Stephen Parent, a visitor to the state's caretaker, was also present. They were brutally killed by members of the Manson family, a cult led by the infamous Charles Manson. The savagery of the slayings, the cryptic messages left at the crime scene, and the eventual revelation of the killer's identity sent shockwaves through society. Sharon's tragic end transformed her from a rising star to a symbol of lost potential and innocence. These slayings marked a significant turning point in Hollywood, signaling the end of the era of relative innocence and openness. The film industry and the wider world were forced to confront the grim reality that the counterculture movement, initially seen as a symbol of peace and love, had a dark underbelly. The Manson slangs, as they came to be known, introduced a new era of fear and distrust, profoundly impacting the cultural landscape of the time. The aftermath of the slaying saw a proliferation of conspiracy theories. Speculations ranged from the involvement of other high-profile figures in Hollywood to more sinister theories about the motives behind these killings. Some believe that the slayings were a twisted bid for fame by Charles Manson, who had nurtured ambitions of becoming a musician. Others speculated about darker motives tied to cult rituals and social rebellion. These conspiracy theories were fueled by the cryptic nature of the slayings and the mysterious persona of Charles Manson himself. The impact of these events on popular culture has been profound and enduring. Books, films, and documentaries have explored every facet of the case, from the lives of the victims to the psychology of the killers. The slayings have been referenced in music, television, and films, often as a metaphor for the end of the 60s era of peace and love. The fascination with the case reflects a deeper societal attempt to make sense of such senseless violence and to understand how something so horrific could occur. Conspiracy theories surrounding the Tate slayings have also persisted over the years, evolving with time. These theories have become part of a larger narrative of the case and a testament to the human tendency to seek explanations for something so unexplainable. They continue to fuel debates and discussions reflecting the ongoing struggle to come to terms with the tragedy. 
In a parallel universe where tragedy did not cut short the life of Sharon Tate, we can only speculate how this beacon of beauty and talent would have evolved and influenced the world around her. Had fate taken a kinder path, Sharon's life and career could have unfolded in a myriad of remarkable ways, leaving an even more significant imprint on Hollywood, fashion, beauty, and possibly on social causes. Sharon's acting career was just reaching its zenith at the time of her untimely death. Had she lived, it's plausible to imagine her career trajectory taking her to new heights in the 1970s and beyond, as Hollywood began to embrace more complex and diverse female roles. Sharon could have evolved from playing the typical beauty to more challenging and varied roles. Perhaps she would have worked under the direction of film directors of the era, showcasing her range and depth as an actress. It's not hard to envision her receiving critical acclaim and maybe the most coveted of all awards and accolades an Academy Award. Sharon's sense of style and her natural beauty made her a fashion icon of the 60s. This influence could have expanded as she matured in the 1970s and 80s with her innate understanding of style and elegance. She might have become a muse for fashion designers, influencing trends, and possibly even launching her own fashion or beauty line. Given her trendsetter status, one can imagine her beauty line focusing on products that enhance natural beauty, reflecting her own understated and timeless elegance. Sharon's personal life too would have been likely a tapestry of joy and fulfillment. She may have embraced motherhood, raising her children away from the glare of Hollywood, or balancing her career and family life with her grace she was known for. Her marriage with Roman Polanski, had it endured the test of Hollywood pressures, could have seen them collaborating on more cinematic projects, combining their artistic visions. In terms of her legacy, Sharon Tate's continued life would have been a story of transformation and resilience, from a starlet known for her beauty to a seasoned actress respected for her craft, from a fashion icon to a transcending entrepreneur, and from a victim of a heinous crime to a beacon of hope and advocacy. Her journey would have been inspirational. In today's world, where social media and the internet have revolutionized how celebrities interact with the public, Sharon could have used these platforms to further her influence. Through Instagram or even her own YouTube channel, she might have shared her insights on beauty, fashion, and life experiences, connecting with a new generation of admirers. And what would her beauty favorites be today if she was 26? If Sharon Tate were navigating the beauty landscape of today, her 1960s style would find a harmonious blend with contemporary trends. With her timeless elegance and love for both glamour and subtlety, Sharon would likely gravitate towards brands that echo her classic yet daring aesthetic. In the realm of modern foundations, Sharon might have been drawn to products offering a natural luminous finish, celebrating her flawless skin. A brand like Charlotte Tilbury, known for its focus on enhancing natural beauty, would align perfectly with her preferences. The Light Wonder Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, offering a buildable coverage with a radiant finish, could have been her go-to for a perfect base, reflecting her radiant complexion. To ensure a smooth canvas, Sharon might have used Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This product, known for its velvety feel and poor blurring effects, would be ideal for creating a flawless base for makeup application, a necessity for high definition cameras and red carpet events. For her expressive eyes, Sharon could have embraced the trend of bold brows, a stark contrast to the thinly arched brows of her era. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz with its precision tip would have been perfect for defining and filling in brows, giving them a naturally yet striking appearance. For eyeshadow, Sharon might have leaned towards palettes offering a mix of neutral and bold shades like those from NARS. These would allow her to recreate her iconic 1960s looks with a modern twist, using matte and shimmer finishes to add depth and dimension to her eyes. Sharon Tate's fondness for lip colors, particularly her inclination towards pink and nude shades, would beautifully align with the elegant selection from Pat McGrath Labs. This brand, celebrated for its deeply pigmented and long-lasting lipsticks, would offer her a modern twist on her preferred hues. 
The pinks and nudes from Pat McGrath's range would provide a perfect balance between her classic taste and contemporary style, reflecting both her 1960s roots and a modern aesthetic. And I really love the packaging of the Pat McGrath lipstick, the ones with the cute bows. Let me know if you've tried them. I'm really curious to see if they're any good. For a healthy natural glow, Sharon might have turned to Fenty Beauty's cream blushes and bronzers. These products, known for their blendable formula, would allow her to sculpt and accentuate her features in a subtle way, in line with current beauty trends favoring a more natural contour. Given Sharon Tate's preference for Guerlain's Jicky, which features a blend of lavender, rosemary, bergamot, and vanilla, she might have been drawn to other perfumes with similar notes and complexity if she were alive today. Some contemporary fragrances that offer a similar balance of classic elegance and intriguing depth include Jo Malone London Lavender and Coriander Cologne. This fragrance combines notes of lavender with spicy coriander, creating a modern twist on classic notes. There's also Tom Ford Beau De Jour, a sophisticated blend that features lavender and rosemary, evoking a similar and fresh character to Jerky. And there's also Diptych Lavender Perfume, and this one's known for its refined simplicity, and it has a crisp and clean lavender scent reminiscence of Jicky's freshness. There's also Atelier Cologne Bergamot, a perfume that highlights a citrusy brightness of bergamot paired with other complex notes for a modern interpretation. And these perfumes, like Jicky, strike a balance between traditional elegance and a unique contemporary edge. And it's clear that Sharon Tate's influence on beauty and fashion transcends time. Her style, a mesmerizing blend of 60s glamour and timeless elegance, continues to inspire and captivate beauty enthusiasts globally. Even in our speculative musings, Sharon's legacy shines brightly, a testament to her enduring allure. Her life through tragedy cut short left an indelible mark that resonates in today's fashion and beauty trends. Sharon Tate remains not just a memory of a bygone era, but a perpetual icon whose essence of grace, beauty, and strength is as relevant now as it was in her time. And thank you for joining me on this fascinating and imaginative journey through Sharon Tate's beauty evolution. And it's been a privilege to explore the style and grace of such an iconic figure and dream about what could have been. If you've enjoyed diving into the past and envisioning the future with me, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this video. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to feature any other old Hollywood movie stars and envision what they would wear if they were alive today. And don't forget to check out my Marilyn Monroe video if she were shopping for beauty products in 2024. All right, see you guys again soon. Bye.